Hi, welcome back. A term you'll hear me use throughout these videos is template or template files. In this video, I'll just be giving you a little bit of background of what goes into creating these template files and how they can be useful and save you a lot of time when working with virtual drumline. Now you can see here, I've got the VDL snare line manual mapping pulled up. There's around 75 different sounds for the snare line instrument alone, but the main two we'll be focusing on are the right and left hand hits with the snares turned on. And you can see here, they're mapped to G sharp five and F sharp five respectively. Now if we hop back into Sibelius, which is what I'll be using for this demo, but a lot of the concepts will apply to Finale as well. We've got three different instruments loaded. We've got our built-in Sibelius marching snare drum instrument. If I was to come in here and select this and enter those G sharp five and F sharp five, you can see you're not actually getting any sounds mapped to those. Um, and while this particular instrument would be able to get a few different sounds from the VDL library, it's only gonna be about five different sounds without you having to go in and edit them yourself. Now if I come down here to the generic staff, uh, this is your regular staff, and enter those same notes, you're actually getting the G sharp and F sharp five on the, on the staff, and that's just because no actual mappings uh, were added to this particular staff. Now if I come down here to the VDL template snare line and enter those same notes, you're actually going to get the snare line sounds mapped properly on the staff, the way you would expect them for a snare line instrument part. Um, and the same thing goes for the other 70-something uh, sounds for this instrument. So what I want to do is just give you a little bit of background of what goes into creating these mappings. I'll come in here to my Edit Instruments area. My snare line manual A is already selected. Edit Instrument, Edit Staff Type. So now I'm here in the staff type edit area and you can see here up at the top, there's actually a whole bunch of different sounds that have been mapped uh, just for this snare line instrument alone. So if I come back here to my A space mappings, this is the right hand hit sound. You can see a note head was assigned to it out of all these note heads down here. This one does have an articulation, but you can see some of these do. And then a sound was chosen for that note head and then the input pitch uh, was assigned here. So that's to say I could push G sharp five and that note will go in. And this process had to be um, gone through for each sound in the VDL library. So if you were to try to make the template for yourself, you would actually have to go through that process. But this is actually kind of just the tip of the iceberg with regards to the template files. There's also what are known as uh, the sound set files here in Sibelius, and then there's a whole set of what are known as library files in Finale. And this, the sound set file alone here in Sibelius has almost 15,000 lines of code to make it so the integration of the sounds is seamless here in Sibelius 6. Um, and on that note, um, every time that the software environments get updated, uh, the notation programs, that is, a new template file needs to be created because a lot changes uh, between the different template files. The important distinction to make there is between the actual VDL sounds and the notation environment itself. Um, while the VDL library has gone through a few updates, the notation environments have gone through uh, more significant updates, and as a result, new template files had to be created. Uh, so hopefully that'll help you see the value um, in using these template files. And that's it for this video. Stick around. We'll see you next time.